Hey, what's up DCS crew? It is Carlos back at it today with a, uh, I guess you can call it a bit of a long-term review on a knife from QSP that has pretty much blown the uh, budget knife game gates wide open. Um, a title that was previously dominated by uh, the Ontario Rat Models number one and number two, um, both in OS8 and in D2, uh, gave way to Civivi, and then it gave way to CJRB. And now uh, I believe that we have a new competitor um, for the the around the thirty dollar range that has set the standard uh, for quality in a budget, and it's funny because um, the company uh, it is QSP, uh, basically short for Quality Service Price. Now, what knife am I talking about? This one right here. This is the Penguin from QSP. Uh, this is the version in uh, Blue Jean Micarta with D2 steel. Awesome handles, beautiful blade, beautiful shape, deep carry clip, but uh, I don't want to get into it too much. Let's go ahead and run the intro, and then I will tell you about my thoughts uh, after uh, uh, Edie seeing this for quite some time. So uh, stick with me. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, first and foremost, uh, before I get into anything, uh, I do want to go ahead and thank Knives Plus. I was able to go ahead and pick up this knife via Knives Plus. You should be able to get it as well as a couple of other variants, not only from Knives Plus, but from uh, White Mountain Knives and uh, Blade HQ, which actually has a new variant uh, that I will get to uh, in a second. So, uh, huge shout out to Knives Plus. That's www knivesplus.com. Now, uh, back to the subject of ha at hand, which is uh, this guy, the QSP Penguin, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full frontal presentation side, rear, and the clip side, top and bottom, all right? So, beautiful uh, Warncliffe style, uh, blade here, D2 steel, grind goes up fairly high, I want to say about 80 to 85 percent up. You have the logo very tastefully uh, laser etched right there at the top, and then you have the designation for the blade steel right there on the other side. This is a thumb stud model. Uh, it actually is, um, this particular variant, like I had mentioned before, is the, the D2 blade with the Jean Micarta handle. This is the blue Jean Micarta handle. And if you wanna know the exact model number, it is right here. That is uh, model number QS130-B. This is made in China by QSP Knives. Uh, don't let that uh, deter you from the fact that this is an excellent knife. Now, um, a lot of good and uh, a couple of, you know, just constructive things that I think that would make it better and a couple of things to watch out for if you're looking for this knife. Now, um, what kind of blew me away was when I actually um, ran into uh, David uh, from the Blade Banter channel, who's actually an ambassador for uh, QSP Knives. Um, They're actually doing the run for his uh, his new knife uh, label, which is Orion uh, Knives. And... Um, he, he introduced me to a couple of their folders as well as their fixed blades uh, through the Apex Pass Around. But aside from that, I ran into them over at SHOT Show and I got to see a lot of these in person. Uh, most notably, I saw this one and it blew me away because um, he and I actually had been speaking about this particular knife. Uh, typically, you can see these at knife retailers for about $29.99. And um, initially, when it was being offered, they actually did a, uh, a limited run through Drop, or the company formerly known as Mass Drop, and uh, they were selling this for $20, okay? For this knife, that is a steal. They have to be losing money. I'm sorry. You just... They have the, between you know the materials and, and, and making everything, the R&D, shipping it over to the States and then selling it here for 20 bucks. That's crazy cheap. They had to have been, they were probably doing that to go ahead and, and, and get some uh, kind of market visibility. And it, it worked because the truth is, you know, people get this knife, they're like, oh, what the hell is a QSP? You know, it's a penguin, it is what it is. Uh, but then they get the knife in their hand and they start using it and they're like, holy crap, this is really nice. The blue jean micarta is really nice. It's not quite smooth. It's not quite, you know, 
uh, for, you know, rough. It's kind of somewhere in the between, especially with a little bit of use. And then that's when it starts to get that little bit of patina. You have that, uh, that deep carry pocket clip, which actually, um, if you can see here, it actually goes uh, right through the, uh, the knife scale right here to the back. And there's actually a, a slot that's opened on the other side for you to be able to go ahead and uh, uh, put it in there. And then what you do is you use the screws and you screw into the scale. You can see those two that are there into the other side, and then it, it holds it there between the scale, the uh, the knife, and then the liner itself, which uh, a pretty genius idea. It gets a nice deep uh, carry clip in there. Excuse me, let me go ahead and wipe that off. Okay, and uh, I mean, really, really well done. The uh, the lockup is very good. Let me see if I can go ahead and zoom in there, as you can see. And um, now, uh, a couple of things I do want to say about this. Um, when I took it apart, uh, because I've already, you know, sharpened it a few times, I've already taken it apart, I've looped it, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I was really surprised because the action on this is ridiculously good. And um, I had to take it apart to be able to go and figure out what the hell, you know, it had in there. Because the truth is, you know, you, uh, you use something like this, and when it has a drop like this, especially after you've cleaned it and lubed it, you know, it makes you wonder, okay, what is it running on? I was assuming it was on washers because, excuse me, on uh, on bearings because, you know, you have a lot of similar models, like say the Feldspar, with a very similar action, you know? And I mean, you know, that, that was my initial thought, but when I took it down, okay, and I went ahead and I disassembled it, and if you want, go ahead and comment below and I'll go ahead and do another disassembly so you can see exactly what's in it. Um, it actually runs off of, uh, uh, copper washers, okay, and I had to verify that because I thought they were phosphor bronze at the beginning, but then when I looked at the uh, the data sheet that comes with the uh, the knife itself, it actually says it right here that it runs off of uh, copper washers, which is interesting because um, usually they run off of phosphor bronze, okay? So um, aside from the fact that they are copper washers, there's actually a paper thin Teflon washer on each side on the outside that faces the uh, the, the liner. Okay, so on, on the liner side, you're gonna have the liner, a very paper thin Teflon washer, and then the copper washer, the knife, another copper washer, and then the, te the, the paper thin Teflon washer, and then the liner. Um, so that facilitates an extremely buttery smooth uh, action. This is probably the smoothest with the exception of maybe, it, well, I'll say it this way. It's very similar to that of the Ontario Rat number two. Okay, and probably even more so. And I mean, I'm, I'm really digging this to the point where I dig it a lot more than the Ontario Rat 2 and for the following reasons. Number one, you're getting D2 and premium handles with a deep carry clip for $30. That's not something you can do with the Ontario Rat number two. Um, and aside from that, you're getting, you know, the phosphor bronze washer, well, excuse me, the copper washers. And you have uh, a couple of choices, actually, not only for the scales, you have um, different micarta. I know that um, Blade HQ is actually offering an exclusive, I think it's a, a green canvas micarta version. Um, and uh, don't quote me on this, but I know that there's another uh, variant for uh, this particular knife. It's not um, FRN scales or anything like that that you would have typically on the Ontario Rat number two, which leads me to believe in all honesty, after seeing the performance, after, you know, owning and using both and, and you know, currently owning the Rat number one, I think honestly, um, it would be in QSP's uh, best interest to make a larger scaled version of this and attack the uh, the market that's geared specifically towards uh, the, the, the company, uh, the Ontario Rat uh, uh, Series 1 and 2, okay? So just to be able to give you some dimensions here, all right? Uh, these are some similar sized uh, and other budget offerings, okay? This is the Tangram Vector. Okay, from Kaiser's, uh, I guess, now defunct uh, Tangram line. I'm hoping it's not, but they did say that it might uh, be coming back. Uh, this is the CGRB Feldspar. Uh, that's the small version. They do make a large and a small version, also in D2 and in Jade G10 scales. This is the Sog Knives uh, Terminus XR. So you can see these are all very similar size. This one is in BDZ1 steel with that uh, the XR lock from Sog. And um, this is a Sikovich design. This is a Kershaw Atmos um, issued by Kershaw with 8CR13 MOV satin blade and uh, a, a carbon fiber uh, laminate on G10. Um, so there you go. As far as size is concerned, they're very, very similar. And I guess I'll bring one more to the fray so you can see. A lot more people probably have this. And this isn't exactly budget, but this is the Spyderco Para 3 in S30V with the MXG Gear deep pocket clip. 
All right, so moving on. Um, so uh, talking about the good, uh, I just want to go ahead and say, uh, you know, great action. Uh, you know, it runs off of uh, copper washer, so it's going to be a definite user with uh, this particular uh, blade style. It's great for opening packages and for, for, you know, breaking down boxes, that sort of thing. That's what I was actually doing with it. Surprisingly, it doesn't look like it's, it's taken much, uh, but it's because of the fact that, you know, I've just been using this on boxes and boxes and then cleaning it really well with stuff like Freedom Loop, which works extremely well for uh, firearms, for knives, and believe it or not, uh, um, uh, double-edged uh, safety razors. <laughs> I'll get to that in another video, but uh, in any case, um, I mean, it's a sub $30 knife. You got the Warncliffe blade, you know, you got the Satin D2. Uh, it's a blue jean micarta handle, uh, deep carry clip, you know, uh, from an up and coming company that really wants to be able to go ahead and get, get itself known. Uh, great action and very similarly sized to a lot of other uh, knives that are out there. Um, the dimensions on this particular knife, just so that you can understand, um, you know, as far as how, how large this is, um, this is just over three inches here. It's 3.06, but the usable portion of the blade is under three inches, so I'm pretty sure that'll be legal in most jurisdictions. Uh, you're getting um, just over seven inches overall. You have a four inch handle, so it's 7.06 inches per uh, the, the card that uh, QSP provides. It's a thumb stud liner lock. And um, yeah, so that's basically um, the ins and outs of the knife. You do have a lanyard uh, hole insert for people that are into that. Um, there are a few things that I feel that they could have improved on. Um, two in particular that come to mind. And these are the only things, and I guess I'm being a little bit pedantic for being $30, you know, bringing these up, but these are things you can also do at home. So, you know, your, your, your mileage may vary. You may actually want to do this yourself. Number one, you may want to go ahead and go like to Walmart or Publix or maybe in Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up some sandpaper and maybe, you know, very lightly touch this up, rough it up, uh, really well and, um, kind of bring out that, that, um, grippiness on the micarta a little bit, uh, if, you know, that is your, your thing. Um, I think that so far with use, it's kind of roughed up a little bit and it feels a lot better in the hand than when I first got it. But if you want to go ahead and do that from the very beginning, you can, uh, that is no issue. And then secondly, um, and I noticed this when I went ahead and I took down the knife and to see if I can go ahead and get uh, a little bit closer here so you can see, uh, just what I'm talking about. If you notice, there are no pockets within the liners. It doesn't look like um, they've uh, skeletonized anything inside. You can actually um, skeletonize the inside a little bit for some weight savings. It may not be too much, but it may be something worth going ahead and checking out. That is something that uh, QSP kind of opted out of to be able to save a little bit in the design element and actual production. So that may have driven down the production cost to what it is. And that's probably what makes it a $30 knife. It's perfectly fine because it's not that heavy of a knife. I will be honest. I mean, I didn't find it to be very heavy in the pocket. It was, it was something that I just, this is the kind of knife that you can wear if you're wearing jeans, if you're at the office, if, you know, it's it's something that's light enough for you to be pretty much an everyday carry knife. And that's one thing that I really like about it, you know? Um, but uh, like I said, just, you know, not trying to, to be pedantic or anything, but the truth is, you know, there's a lot to love about this knife and not very much not to love. I mean, uh, with the exception of the fact that QSP is still an up and coming company and you have so many other knives in the EDC market, especially in the budget made in China, D2, you know, and, and uh, varied uh, handle scale market, um, you know, a D2 blue jean micarta or even just a standard micarta, um, it, it, this is a really good uh, knife. I mean, so if, if I could, you know, just recap what the negatives would be, or, or the stuff that I think could use a little bit of work. Um, you know, if you could rough up the scales a little bit, if you could go ahead and skeletonize the liners to kind of save you a little bit in, in uh, weight, although it really doesn't need much, to be honest, because this is light enough as it is. And if you can provide it in um, more retailers, um, that would be, you know, those would be my three qualms about this knife. Other than that, that's, that's it. You definitely need to go ahead and pick this up. This is a nine and a half out of 10. And I say that because it's not gonna hurt your wallet. Uh, it's not going to hurt your pocket. Trust me, you're going to really like this knife. It's left and right hand friendly, even though it is a liner lock. It is tapped for left and right handers. And it's, you know, it's got the, um, the, the, the lanyard insert for people that are into that. You know, you can go ahead and use it. Uh, the, the blade shape is very, you know, tool oriented. And the fact that it's on copper washers uh, with the Teflon inserts, you know, it gives it a very, very buttery smooth action. And I would be hard pressed to find 
other things that are too, too close with this that would blow it away in the budget category. So those are the only things that I would say um, would would hurt the knife. You know, the fact that, it, you know, that maybe, and it's not even hurting the knife. You know, you rough up the micarta a little bit, you add some uh, some pockets in here for, for weight savings. And if I could be completely honest, I would tell, you know, QSP to go ahead and offer this in more stores. I mean, you can get it at Blade HQ, you can get it at White Mountain Knives, you can also get it at what Knives Plus. Like, I went ahead and I picked this guy up um, and, you know, but the stock is limited. Now, it's been limited also because of COVID-19, uh, but also, you know, production. They are actually trying to come out with a lot of different other knives. Um, they do have fixed blades and they do have, you know... Um, Aside from your garden variety budget style knives, they have like uh, the Parrot, which is a nice cheap one. They have this one, the Penguin, and they even have upscale ones like the Puffin, which I actually did a, uh, a review of not too long ago. I will go ahead and put that at the end of this uh, video so that you can go ahead and check it out if you're interested in QSP. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. I mean, there's a lot to love about this knife. There's not a lot not to love. And if I was to go ahead and say, you know, be on the fence, buy it or forget about it, Guys, you guys need to buy it. I bought it and I knew what I was getting into because I saw this over at uh, SHOT Show and I am super pleased with it. Uh, I know that you will be too. Many of you probably have it by now um, because I mean, this hasn't been something that's been out for too, too long, but it has been out for a little bit. I just, I wanted to go ahead and use it and provide my feedback. Uh, not all of the knives that are on this channel are provided by the Apex Group. A lot of them are influenced by that, like this. Um, but I went ahead and I bought this with my own money. It's $30 well spent. Um, and this is going to be something that's going to be well used and well loved. So, um, yeah, that's basically it guys. And just, you know, feel free to ask me any questions, sound off below in the comments, if you happen to have one, or if you have something that you feel would work well against this kind of like, in a in a battle to the death, kind of like slicey dicey says in his, uh, his videos, uh, I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say. But, uh, that being said, um, just remember guys, whether it is, you know, a QSP, whether it is a, a SOG, you know, whether it is a CGRB, you know, just remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, you guys have been great uh, this past month. Um, feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that uh, that bell so that when the, uh, the videos are up, presumably on Sundays, I can go ahead and uh, post this up and you will be notified so you can... Uh, you know, check it out first and offer some feedback if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, and you want to message me privately, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me via my Instagram at Daily Carry Solutions or uh, my uh, website, which is dailycarrysolutions.com. Hit me up via the contact page. It sends me an email and I will respond in turn. So that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is the QSP Knives Penguin. I am Carlos. This is DCS, and I'm out.